Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be doing a highly requested topic today and that is my go-to wet look eyeshadows. Some of these I have mentioned in the past because these are ones that I actually have been using long term to achieve a glossy lid effect without having to use a gloss, which if you follow me on Instagram, you know why my makeup looks so weird right now. I used an eye gloss over some eyeshadows that could not handle an eye gloss and it was just the biggest shit show I've ever experienced. So honestly, finding wet look eyeshadows is something that not only is so much easier to work with, but something that's also going to look so much better and last so much longer. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, throw a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And let's begin. So wet look basics. When you're looking for an eyeshadow that mimics the look of a gloss, you don't necessarily want to just reach for like the most metallic shade in your collection. You're not necessarily looking for like the most pigmented shade or something that is super intense. What you want to look for is uh, glitter, something that has a lot of glitter in it. I know this is probably so off-putting right now, so many of you are probably like, I'm not looking for glitter, but trust me, it's it gives the vibe of wetness. I'm not talking about like chunky glitter or like New Year's Eve type of glitter, glitter liner type of glitter. I mean like very fine, very shiny, clear, reflective little pieces of glitter throughout the shadow. This is going to give you the wet look and it's going to really act as more of an overlay to whatever shadow you have going on underneath rather than something that's like metallic that you're attempting to make look wet by applying it damp or applying a lot of it or whatever. And the point I'm trying to make is with these little micro glitters, the more you kind of build up the layer on your lid, the more wet it looks because those glitters mimic the same type of reflective look that an eye gloss does. So that's just my two cents. That's what I recommend. That's what most of these are. The first one I have here is the Nabla Single Shadow in the shade Sensuelle. This is a pinky peach and it has a lot of really fine gold glitters in it. This one is very subtle. I like to layer this over any red, berry, pink, anything with red or pink in it and it gives a really nice natural subtle reflect. It does build up very nicely though. You can apply it with a glitter glue and get a very glittery effect in a few layers but one layer, a little bit damp on the finger over whatever base shadow you have really gives the most natural everyday wet look. So I have a combo here. They both look pretty glossy separately but together they give, I would say, the most comparable look to a glossy lid out of any of the cream slash powder shadows that I own, and that is the Makeup Forever Starlet Powder and Starlet Liquid. Uh, in this case, the powder is the shade 13, and the liquid I have here is the shade 03. You can mix and match any of these for the same effect. So the liquid, very liquidy. You do have to shake it up. It does have a lot of fine glitter particles in it, but when you work it onto the lid, again, it just looks very wet, and it dries down very quickly and does not budge. When you layer it over this pigment, it gives the most mirror-like reflect and kick back. It is so beautiful. This is my go-to when I want to be part of the glossy trend, but I have an event to go to and I don't want to worry about it getting in my mascara or messing things up. This is going to give you that exact same look out of everything in front of me. These two together are what I recommend most to achieve that vibe. And I was going to wear these today, but my window to film now since I have the tutorial incident is really short so I didn't have time to apply it, but let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me use those in a tutorial. I would love to in my next fall look, so just let her know. Makeup Geek Grandstand, my like number two after the Makeup Forever one. This, I feel, just looks so wet on the lids. It's so soft and very creamy and it just gives such a nice editorial vibe. Because it's a very neutral mauve pink, it really doesn't uh, kind of stand on its own melts into whatever you have going on on the rest of the eyes and just gives that nice metallic wet pop. How many times am I going to say wet, glossy, dewy in this video? I only have two left. Uh, these two are more subtle. So these are perfect for you guys who maybe who feel maybe not feel ready, not for ready the wet look, for the wet uh, look, but want something uh, but similar that isn't just similar that metallic, 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 straight metallic. The first is a L'Oreal infallible eyeshadow. This is in the shade 892 Amber Rush. Amber this is a long time this favorite, is a long of, time favorite of mine. Very well very loved. Very well loved. I like this because it's I like very this because smooth, smooth and slick and slick. You can build it up to look like a traditional metallic shade or you can really blend those pearls into the lid and blending them like that. The reason I keep saying to do that is saying to do that is really make that's 
them really very, makes very them reflective. very, very reflective. We notice it when we, we apply highlight. highlight. When we apply you spend highlight, and I'm spending a lot of time highlight. blending your highlight. Not only is it diffusing, but it's really working those curls really out, and out and making it a lot more reflective. Same thing goes for any type of wet look eyeshadow. This one in particular really works well with that type of blending. It just gets so shiny. I found that it does that no matter what color I use from the highlight. I found that it does that no matter what color I use from the highlight. I found that it does that no matter what color I use from the highlight. I have quite a few of them. It's just a really great option, especially because it's so affordable. And lastly, I have one from Color. I have this shade was a holiday, holiday, but there are a lot of uh, similar shades and color pops range and and I'm going to as well as those as well as find some. But it's the color Kush. I thought it was Kush, but it's not spelled the same. I don't know why my mind goes to weed. So this one is such a beautiful shade and it shade and it just looks pretty on the lid. It's very smooth. It's not that glittery. It's more of a straight metallic like I said. But like I said, about it, something just about it so just looks so glossy, glossy, so pretty. It looks so beautiful. Pretty. It, it looks beautiful center of the lid, on the center of the lid, on the inner I corner. Personally, I personally, I personally feel like you get the best result when you just have nothing on the lid, nothing on the lid, and you just spread it all, spread it all over the face. It just looks so beautiful and so editorial, so editorial. Pop a nice highlighter on the face, highlighter on the face, and just. But yeah, that is it. But yeah, that is it. That is six go-to eyeshadows. Go-to eyeshadows. Those are the ones I really, those are the ones I really wear when I do my glossy lid. So I hope that you guys. I hope that you guys try like them. them. If like you them. have any wet look eyeshadows that you love, leave them in the comments below because I am always looking for new ones and I know so many of the rest many of you are always, of you are always looking for new ways uh, easier ways to the glossy, ways to the glossy Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll talk again in my next video.